Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. If you're like me, you want to find new ways to use your channel points. And the best way is to integrate it with your stream somehow. And one thing that I found is a way to integrate channel points with song requests. And I'll show you right now what I mean. So if I go right here to my channel points and I go to request a song and I type in um, flower in the waltz, is that the name of it? Waltz in the flower? Waltz of the Flower. Okay. Ha! How did it find that? So anyway, this is a classical song, so there's no copyright. So you can see that it goes directly to my Streamlabs chatbot. And I'm going to show you how to do it with Nightbot and Moobot too. It's really easy. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, look in the top left where the notepad is and also in the description below if you need to copy the links. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new Twitch account. And you want to give it mod. So I name my Twitch account, my new one, Channel Point Bot. It's not a real bot. It's just a second account that I created. Um, so that way it can interact with the channel points. So after you've done that, then you're going to remain logged in to your second account. And you're going to go to, go to number two, which is that website right there. Uh, whenever you go to the website, it's actually going to take you right here to the OAuth password generator. OAuth is like your custom login information in like one link for your uh, second account. So you're gonna click connect and it'll take you to OAuth dot dot and then it will show you a long string of letters and numbers. So just copy that and put it into a notepad. After you've copied it and put it into the notepad, then go to your channel reward points and go up here and go to manage rewards. So after you manage your rewards, it'll take you to your channel points and you're going to want to create a new one. So I'm going to use the one that I've already done um, you put, you name it song request or request a song, whatever, and then just give a description of it. Make sure that you require the user to enter a text so that way the bot can pick up the information and charge whatever you want. And also skip reward request queue, because if not, then you'd have to manually accept every song. And so then hit save. And after you do that, it will pop up inside of your channel reward points. And you can verify it right here. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to number and you're going to copy and paste that link in and it will take you right here and so it should be blank for you but what this does is it actually captures the um, reward ID so if you go to your request a song for example and then you type in anything let's do Jolene for example then you you can see it will pop up this and so in order to do that with the link up top you see where it says channel equals Oshima just put your channel there so that way it can capture your, your reward ID so you're going to want to save this and you're going to want to put it in the notepad below the OAuth password. Uh, then let's go over to number five. Number five is this right here. It'll be the actual files for the bot, the second account, and then just download it. And after you download it, just right click and click show in folder. And whenever you right click it and you show, show it in folder, it will take you to a... Um, it, it should take you to explore. Where's where's my explorer at? There it is. All right, then it'll take you to wherever you downloaded it. Um, you can see mine is just in the emote section, but yours is probably going to be in download, and so you just drag it and put it wherever you want to. Then right-click. You can't see me right-clicking, but I'm right-clicking. And then go to Extract here. And then create a new folder by right-clicking. And name it SR or whatever you want to name it. You can name it Song Request Anything. Then highlight the files that you extracted and put into the song request folder. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on index and right click it and go to open with and open with notepad. If notepad isn't there, then just go to choose another app or you can open open notepad and just drag the file in and it'll load as well. After you've done that, then this will pop up right, right here. Right here, this will pop up and this will be your, um, this is the actual file, the HTML of the bot and we're going to modify a little bit of it. So to modify, all you do is you go down to the very bottom. You'll be at the very top, uh, which is right here. But then you're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And then scroll up a tiny bit, and you see where it says Twitch user. So instead of putting Goshimud, which is my name, put your name. Not your bot's name, but your actual stream name. And then for OAT, just punch in the numbers and letters wherever the X is. After you do that, then wherever you, you see where it says custom reward ID, Next to that, you see the long string of numbers and letters. Just put your custom reward ID in there instead. And you do it one more time right here. So you're going to do that two times. And you're also going to change the Twitch user. And you're also going to change the password. 
After you do that, go to File. You can't see me doing it. And then go to Save. And once you get to that point right there, uh, the file and the save, then take the actual file, the index, and drag it over to your browser. I'm using Chrome. After you drag it over to your browser, then, then you should see this right here, which is a blank page. So when you see the blank page, just right click and go to inspect. And it should bring this up right here and go to console. You'll know it worked because at the top, it, it'll say that you connected. So if it says that you connected, don't worry about the errors. And also I say for it to do something, just make sure that you're working. Huh. So whenever it says connected, that, that way you know that your bot is actually inside your Twitch um, account right now and it's ready to be talked to with your channel points. And you can see that by um, going back to your chat and then just go over here and go to request a song and type in any name. Uh, my name is human and your bot should work now. Now the thing is, is that if your bot is working, it's still going to work for everybody, right? You you don't have to use channel points at this moment. So what we have to do is we have to make the channel points to where it's only for a certain select people. And so you want to make sure that your second account is mod. So my channel point bot is mod for that reason. So uh, what you do is we go back to the uh, bot. So let's go back to the bot right now. And then I'm using Streamlabs chatbot. You just go to settings and you go request permission moderator. If you want to make it to where even moderators can't request free songs, you go, you make an editor and then you just go to users right here. And you can see here channel point bot, uh, which is right here. You go to edit and you can see that it's an editor. So, but for right now, I'm just doing moderators where if you're a moderator, then you can request a song for free. Or if you're a regular person, you go through the channel point section. So after you've done with Streamlabs chatbot, if you're using... Um, for example, uh, Nightbot, then you would go over here. And on the left-hand side, it'll say Song Requests, and then it'll take you to this spot right here. And then you go to Settings, User Level Moderator, so that's how you do it for Nightbot. And if you're using Moobot, then on the left-hand side, you go to Core Features, and it'll bring up this page right here. And then you go to Settings for Song Request, and then you go to Filtering, and at the bottom, Only Accept Requests, and then you put Twitch Moderators. And you can also do the editors as well. And if you do the editors, then you would just make sure that your channel point bot is an editor. And so uh, once you do that, you're all set up. Make sure that you always have the uh, song request HTML. Make sure you always have it open on Chrome. So that way it knows that it can communicate um, between your channel points and your Twitch chat. And that's basically it. So um, it, it didn't take too long. It actually was under eight minutes. I hope you guys followed. If you... If you have any other questions, make sure to put in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm going to actually, my next video, if this gets enough support, will be this right here. Let me show you this right here. Um, I, I didn't plan on doing this, but but I'll just show you. Let, if I can just go to my scene right here and watch this right here. Um, I can actually show you this. I can do text-to-speak. Hello, world. Hello, world. Ha! <laughs> so if you're interested in something like that, um, as my next video, just let me know. And I do appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.